Yo, yo, what's up, my peoples? I'm going to make a quick video about entrepreneurship. I consider myself an entrepreneur. I've been doing my own little hustles for quite a long time now. There's a lot of you guys out there. I respect it. You know what I mean? Um, I wish you guys the best. Definitely. And to everybody else that works for the man, listen, I work for the man too. But I don't want to work for the man all my life. So I'm making this video because I was driving to work. And I work upstate, as you can see, it's nothing but woods out here. And I look at that as opportunity. I saw somebody had posted, not posted, but they had parked two working vans outside their house. And they had a good price. So now, I gotta negotiate and I gotta work my magic and see what I can get done. Alright, so the goal is to get a product for dirt cheap. You gotta pay the lowest amount of money for this product. It could be anything. And once you get your hands on that product, you sell it for as much as you can. These vans had a thousand dollars on the window. On both vans. So the guy wants two thousand dollars for for both vans. I got money for a bill that I'm supposed to pay next week. Now this is where the risk taking and and everything that comes with being an entrepreneur will come into place. Because one, I'm confident in myself that I will get rid of these vans today. Everything must go. You got to have that type of mentality to get it done. So this is how it went down. I'm driving to work and then I see these vans literally at the side of the road. And it caught my eye because, you know, every time I see a car with a for sale sign on it, it just catches my attention. So, I'm driving and I come across these babies right here. Bang. And they had a thousand dollars on the window. So now, I got to negotiate. Look. Bang. Crazy to me, since I know a little bit about cars, that's a deal for a thousand dollars each. I can't go wrong with this buy, but like I said, I gotta pay dirt cheap. So let's see if I can get it for lower. Yeah, it ain't not much to look at, but you know what? One man's trash is another man's treasure. I could probably get 2500 for each fan. Things is ready to go. I could clean it up a little bit, make it look real nice. Take these little plastic things off. All right, let's see what happens. One tip, cash is king. Money talks. So when somebody sees money in their hands, changes a lot. And just like that, it's mine. $1,500 for both. That is what you call a steal. Woo! Let's go, baby. That's what I'm talking about. That's exactly what I'm talking about. Right there. Money talks. Bullshit walks. Yeah, you see he parked the other one in the back. I told him I was coming for this one. Later or tomorrow. Alright, so I got the van. It's running right. Needs a little work, but it's doable. Even if I make a hundred dollars off this damn van, I still won. It's a hundred dollars. So obviously we're gonna have to try to make the most. But it needs minor stuff. Nothing crazy. I'll get rid of it. I'm a hustler, baby. That's what I do. Two days later. Got it done. Sold. Just like that. Just like that. Done. Get out of my yard, man. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one. Three, four, twenty-five. Told you, twenty-five hundred.
for one. That's a win for me, baby. So going back to entrepreneurship, don't be scared. Take that risk. That next week bill that I got, I made that right back. Confidence, baby, comes a long way.